and welcome to my final vodcast of the school year. As you can see over my shoulder, our students are hard at work on finals as the big clock ticks towards summer. Nothing says vacation like sitting for exams. Follow me back to my office for a few minutes and let's talk a little bit about what to expect over the summer and in the fall. I've divided my topics into three categories. You'll see academics, facilities, and planning. Um, just a few details about each. Uh, under academic planning, uh, this fall our grades 5 through 11 language program will be in full implementation. Our rising fifth graders right now are busy choosing languages from among Spanish, French, Mandarin, and Arabic. iPads will be in full implementation. Every student will have an iPad when the school returns in the fall. Uh, we're very excited about offering an online computer programming course. It's our first fully online course offering and I think is the beginning of something very exciting for our students. And guiding it all, we have a new academic dean coming into the school on July 1, as you know, and a familiar face, Liesl Shane, uh, taking on a new role as the custodian of our co-curricular programs, and I'm very excited about that. Turning to facilities, as you heard last month, we'll be renovating the inner courtyard. Um, what you may not know is that we are aggregating about 30 faculty members into a space now called the Faculty Center, which will be built out this summer with offices and plenty of conference room uh, space for students to consult with teachers, workspace, and uh, an adequate uh, office facilities for them as well. Then probably most exciting from the student point of view is the locker room project. The lockers haven't really been touched since that building was built in 1964. Um, they're in terrible, terrible condition, and we're excited about what a redo can mean to our athletic program. Turning finally to planning, uh, we'll be talking a lot about the three townhouses and how to put them together into some cohesive, purpose-built space for our academic program. Uh, we'll also be talking about starting a capital campaign that will finance that rather large project and continue to build our endowment. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, the school committee will be leading us in a strategic planning process that will lay open every element of the school's program to make sure we are doing what we need to be doing, that we are living our mission, that we are preparing our students in the way they need to be prepared for a very complex life in the 21st century, and that the school is in sound financial and programmatic shape as well. So as you can see, even as school is winding down, a lot of thought is being given to next year. I want to thank you for watching and wish you a terrific summer, and congratulations to the wonderful class of 2013. Take care.